Hey guys. Hey guys. It's time for another Sci-Fi Friday review. This time we're reviewing Z Nation Season 2 Episode 6 titled Zombie Baby Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen the episode and you want to avoid any spoilers, you're going to want to skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. So yeah, it seems like this season, the main characters are not nearly as safe as they were last season. Yeah, like last season, we basically had one major character death. And yeah. it was kind of, sort of, in the middle of the season. Yeah. It was kind of probably closer to the end, right? It was yeah. in the back half, for sure. But, but, I mean, like, until then, you're like, well, everybody's basically safe. Apparently, people don't die on this show. Yeah. <laughs> but this season's a whole new ball game. <laughs> Yeah, this season's completely different. I mean, we lost Mac just a few episodes ago. Mm -hmm. And this episode, we lost Cassandra. Yeah. And I really, I didn't see it coming. I just kind of took it for granted that, okay, Mac died, so everybody else is safe for the rest of the <laughs> One season. One character death per season. <laughs> I, I just kind of took that for granted. And no, uh, 10K had to put Cassandra down this episode, and I was completely taken off guard by it. I kind of was, kind of wasn't, like... I've kind of, like, since um, Murphy's turned her, I've just assumed she's been on borrowed time. Um, and it wasn't really surprising that she died. I could see that coming because she's just getting more and more out of control and less and less Cassandra. Um, but I also wouldn't have been surprised had she stuck around and they had been able to cure her. Yeah. So, I mean. That's kind of the direction I thought it was going because it still felt, even though she was not really Cassandra anymore, that she and 10K still had some kind of bond. So I really thought that they were going to bring her back around and it would be, you know, Cassandra and 10K, you know, and not necessarily a romantic relationship, but, you know, BFFs in the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> That's kind of the way I saw it going, so I was completely taken off guard. But I'm really glad that it was 10K who ended up doing it. Yeah, I mean, if somebody had to take down Cassandra, it should have been 10K, yeah. so... And, and in that scene, it was like, you know, it could have gone either way. It could have been 10K who got who died, yeah. or it could have been Cassandra. I was a little nervous, because you, she... you hear, like, this crunch, and you yeah. don't know if it was the knife going in Cassandra or his neck. Yeah. And, I, yeah, I was a little concerned. No. Yeah. I wasn't as concerned, but you know, it was touch and go. Yeah. But I'm like, you know, 10K, I think he has to stick around. I think he's st safe until he hits 10,000. Yeah. After I was, like, I was pretty sure. I was like, it's probably Cassandra, but there's still this little, I was like, oh, God, please don't be 10K. <laughs> it's, I don't know what I'll do if 10K dies. Yeah, oh, my gosh. I'll be wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, like, if Addie dies. I'm like, No. Okay, speaking of Addie and her ever-changing wardrobe... She is in a different outfit every single episode, well, I swear. Well, she, her, her jacket had changed. Like, she lost yeah, a sleeve. Yeah, like, her jacket she, slowly died. Yeah. <laughs> she lost one sleeve, she lost both sleeves, she kept the both sleeves, and now she has no jacket. <laughs> yeah, now she has no jacket. Now she, she's looking very Daryl Dixon yes. with her shawl slash poncho. Looks very much like Daryl's poncho. Yeah, uh, and she even has, like, the, the backwards tank top, kind of like an homage to Battlestar Galactica, how they had that... Like, their, their casual uniform. Yeah, was, yeah, the casual uniform. Was the uniform. green undershirt with the kind of backwards tank top. Yeah. Okay, favorite scene from the episode? The opening, really. <laughs> Zombie baby hot potato. Yeah. And, and take the, Lucy. And you the, take Lucy. And the, uh, the zombie Abe Lincoln. Oh my god. The zombie <laughs> Abe Lincoln, that was hilarious. Especially Doc. Oh no, acid flashback. <laughs> yeah. Oh good, you see them too. <laughs> But one thing about this episode is they didn't do, like, a special kind of zombie like they have no, in the past yeah. several episodes. Like, they had the bangers, they had the anthrax zombies, they had the uh, plant zombies. So they did, like, this, this special zombie every episode. Well, almost every episode. Yeah. But this episode, they, they stopped that. Yeah, we, th we didn't really have a special zombie unless they're going to call the Abes the special zombie of yeah, this maybe one. Maybe the Abe Lincolns, I mean, maybe the rodents with the, the fox and the... Yeah. The... And maybe they, they didn't have so many ideas, so they kind of got to stagger it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I like the, uh, the special zombies every episode. I kind of hope that comes cool. back. Yeah, I hope we too. have another special zombie next week. Another thing we didn't get this episode, Citizen Z. Yeah. We've gotten very little Citizen Z this whole season. And I'm wondering, is DJ Qualls, is he doing something else and they haven't been able to... to to feature him because he's busy doing something else? Or is his story, you know, winding down? 
Yeah, maybe they, or maybe they or, don't want to wind his story down, so they're deliberately not having him in it as much so that his story can go further. Yeah. I mean, they are kind of without radio contact, so yeah. it makes sense for them to not have contact with yeah. him. But we haven't had any scenes from him, what's going on with him. Yeah, so he hasn't been in contact, but we haven't actually seen anything Yeah. Of him. Like, as far, as far as we know, Northern Light doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. That's how little he's been in the show. Yep. Okay, Vasquez, we've been wondering ever since we met this character what his deal was, and we kind of found out today, yes. or in this episode, today, tonight, <laughs> oh my god, it's 10 o'clock, um, we, we kind of found out, we get a really interesting backstory for him about how he yes. was a, a DEA agent, and how the cartel tried to buy him off, and then they blackmailed him by kidnapping his family, and they died on day one of the zombie apocalypse. So he's got this really just tragic backstory and I think they kind of had to do that because we knew nothing about him and he hadn't been really featured or anything so this is a yeah. very Vasquez heavy episode. Yeah and he has to be a good guy because he's helping them. He either has to be a good guy or a really bad guy mm -hmm. and he just didn't have that bad guy vibe. He had the uh, uncertain where you're like oh, I don't know if I really trust him or not but he just didn't seem like a bad enough person to be in this group and be leading them on. Um, so I'm glad that they had like a plausible explanation for why he kept getting on the walkie and talking to people and yeah. stuff like that. It's he was trying to go for his uh, wife and daughter's killer. Yeah, and I really hope they expand on that. I hope yeah. he finally does get to kill this guy. Me too. Because he sounds like a real jerk, <laughs> <laughs> and I yeah. want him to die. Yeah. And the episode concludes with Murphy. He's left Lucy with the couple that he met at the cottage. He's bitten both of them on the cheeks and basically left them instructions to look after Lucy and be happy about it. And I really hope we come back to Lucy at some point during the show because, um, I, one, I just don't see the rest of the group just leaving with his word that Lucy's fine. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see them doing that. I think they stay in the area and search for her. You know, once they find what he did, maybe they'll then leave and go on. I'm really not sure, because who knows? Um, but I, I, I kind of want to see what happens with the baby, even if it's like, uh, you know, we have a flash forward and it's three years down the road and we've got zombie-esque toddler. <laughs> Like, I want to see what happens with Lucy. Don't cut Lucy out. I'm really interested to see if, if they do anything with Lucy. I really hope they do. And out of everybody in the group, aside from Murphy, it seemed like Addie was totally down for having Lucy around. Yeah, yeah. I, that's that's my main thing. I don't think Addie is going to just leave yeah. and take his word that Lucy's fine. Now, once he shows her, look, Lucy's attracting walkers. Y'all need to get me to wherever... Um, we can't be carrying her, this family, you know, these two are going to take care of her, then maybe she'll be okay with it, but I don't know. And I think that's pretty much it for our Z Nation review. If there's anything we missed, something you think we should have talked about that we didn't, let us know in the comments and we can discuss it down there. Also, if you enjoyed this review, and we certainly hope you did, be sure to let us know by clicking that like button and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.